Welcome, travelers of the night, to a journey through the whispers of Eldoria, a realm where magic breathes and secrets dwell. As the world outside settles, let's find solace in the embrace of dreams and tales. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and release the day as we step into the world of the Winged Whisperer. Tonight, with Alara as our guide, we soar on wings of magic into stories untold, where every shadow holds wonder and every star whispers hope. Let the tale weave its spell, leading you to a restful slumber where dreams await to cradle you in their comforting depths. Now, let us begin as the mysteries of Eldoria unfold and the night cradles us in its gentle arms. Chapter 1 The Feathered Secret In the heart of the ancient woods of Eldoria, where trees whispered secrets of old and the air shimmered with unseen magic, there lived a young witch named Alara. Her life was one of solitude and learning, a life chosen from the myriad paths that the forest offered. Alara's days were spent conversing with the wind, deciphering the language of the streams and understanding the silent speech of the earth beneath her feet. One dusk, as the sky painted itself in hues of amber and violet, Elara stumbled upon a scene that would alter the course of her destiny. A small bird, its wings battered and its spirit waning, lay entangled in a cruel snare hidden amongst the underbrush. With hands as gentle as the breeze, Elara freed the creature, her heart aching at the pain inflicted by the world outside her forest. In the shelter of her humble abode, she tended to the bird's wounds, whispering healing spells that were old when the world was young. As the moon climbed its silver arc across the night sky, a remarkable transformation occurred. The bird, once frail and fading, now thrummed with a vitality that seemed otherworldly. Its eyes, deep and knowing, gazed into Alara's soul, and in that gaze, an unspoken pact was forged. With the first light of dawn, the bird took to the skies, its flight a dance of gratitude and magic. Alara watched, her heart swelling with a joy she had never known. But as the bird disappeared into the embrace of the morning mist, a strange sensation took hold of Alara. The air around her shimmered, and the essence of the forest whispered a new secret into her very being. She felt a pull, a calling to follow where the bird had soared. Yielding to the inexplicable urge, Elara stepped into the open, her eyes closing as she reached out to the magic now coursing through her veins. In a breath, the impossible became possible. Her form blurred, reshaped, and reformed. Where once stood a young witch, now perched a bird, majestic and free. Elara in her avian guise, took to the skies. The world unfolded below her 
in a tapestry of color and life. She soared higher, her spirit alight with the pure essence of freedom, her heart beating a rhythm that echoed the ancient magic of transformation. As the sun climbed higher, casting its golden light upon the land, Alara explored the skies, mastering her newfound ability with a grace that belied her inexperience. The forest of Eldoria, a constant companion of her past life, now lay beneath her, a verdant expanse teeming with secrets yet to be discovered. Little did Alara know, her magical flight had not gone unnoticed. Eyes, keen and calculating, watched her from the shadows. Whispers of her unique gift traveled on the wind, winding their way through the forest and beyond, until they reached the ears of those who ruled the land. The day waned, and Alara returned to her human form, a sense of wonder still enveloping her. The encounter that had seemed a mere twist of fate was, in truth, a thread in the tapestry of a much larger destiny. As the stars began their nightly vigil, Alara's heart whispered to her of adventures yet to come, of challenges to face, and of a destiny intertwined with the very fabric of Eldoria. But the knight was not just a keeper of secrets. It was a herald of things to come. For in the heart of the kingdom, in a castle as ancient and enigmatic as the woods themselves, plans were afoot. Plans that would seek to ensnare Alara in a web of intrigue and magic, far beyond the simple life she had known as dawn broke over the kingdom of Eldoria. Its first light found Alara in a state of contemplation. The discovery of her transformation into a bird had planted the seeds of change in her heart. And with the new day, those seeds began to sprout. She realized that with great power came a responsibility, a duty to use her gift for a purpose greater than mere exploration and freedom. In the days that followed, Alara honed her abilities, mastering the skies with an elegance that belied her newness to this form. She learned to listen to the whispers of the wind, to understand the silent language of the clouds, and to read the stories written in the stars above. Her gift of feathers had opened up a whole new world to her, one that was vast and filled with wonders. Yet, as she flew higher and farther than ever before, a sense of unease began to grow within her. The world below was not just beauty and light. Shadows lurked in the hearts of men and whispers of discontent and malice drifted up, even to the lofty heights at which she soared. Eldoria, for all its splendor, was a land divided, its harmony threatened by unseen forces. It was on one such flight, as she traced the meandering course of the river Eldor, that her life took another fateful turn. Below her, the roar
royal castle of Eldoria stood, its spires reaching towards the heavens, a testament to the legacy of the kingdom, drawn by a curiosity that she could not explain Ilara descended, taking care to remain unseen. Her presence, but a shadow passing over the sunlit gardens of the castle. From her vantage point, she watched as the courtiers moved below, their faces masks of civility that thinly veiled the schemes and secrets that danced in their eyes. It was a dance of power, a delicate balance held by the will of the queen, a ruler known for her wisdom and her unwavering dedication to her people. The queen, sensing the currents of discord weaving through her court, had sought counsel from the ancient magics that still lingered in the land. It was her wish to protect Eldoria from the threats that brood in silence. Threats that, if left unchecked, could tear the kingdom apart. And so, when whispers of a young witch who could soar the skies reached her, the queen saw a glimmer of hope, a means to guard her realm from the shadows that encroached upon it. With a heart heavy, with the burden of her crown, she sent forth a summons, a call that would bridge the world of magic and the affairs of the kingdom. Ilara, unaware of the queen's knowledge of her gift, was taken aback when the royal summons reached her. A part of her yearned to ignore the call, to remain hidden within the safety of her forest. But another part, stronger and more daring, whispered of destinies intertwined and of the role she was meant to play in the tale of Eldoria. With a resolve that surprised even herself, Ilara accepted the summons. Transforming once more, she took to the skies, her path leading her to the heart of the kingdom, to the castle where her journey would take its next, most pivotal turn. As she landed in the secluded gardens of the castle, her form shifting back to that of a young witch. Ilara was greeted not by soldiers or courtiers, but by the queen herself. The queen, with eyes that held the weight of her crown and the warmth of a mother's love, welcomed Ilara with a kindness that eased her fears. Ilara, the queen began, her voice a melody that spoke of strength and gentleness intertwined. Your gift is a rare and precious thing, a beacon of hope in times of darkness. I ask you to use it in service of Eldoria, to be our eyes where we cannot see to uncover the truths that hide in shadow. Will you stand with us as the guardian of the skies and help protect our kingdom? Alara, moved by the queen's plea and the sincerity that shone in her gaze, knew then what her answer would be. With a heart full of courage, and a spirit ignited by the call to adventure, she accepted the queen's request, embarking on a journey that would lead her into the heart of intrigue and 
towards a destiny greater than any she had ever imagined. Within the heart of Eldoria's castle, under the gaze of ancient tapestries and the silent watch of statues from a time long past, the queen's request echoed with a weight that filled the chamber. Elara, the young witch with the gift of transformation, stood before the throne, sense of destiny enveloping her. The queen, resplendent in her regal bearing, regarded Alara not as a subject, but as an ally in the shadow dance of court intrigue. Eldoria faces a threat from within, the queen began, her voice imbued with the gravity of her words. Whispers of discontent and plots of treachery reach my ears, yet those responsible cloak themselves in shadows, eluding my grasp. Your unique talents, Ilara, offer us a chance to unveil these traitors before they strike. Ilara, feeling the weight of her duty, nodded. I will serve you and Eldoria with my every breath, she pledged. My wings will be your eyes, and the sky my domain. No secret shall remain hidden from your sight. With the pact sealed, the queen revealed her plan. Begin at the court, she instructed. Listen to the whispers on the wind. Watch the comings and goings of nobles and advisors. Trust not the masks of loyalty they wear, for deception runs deep in the hearts of those who seek power. Armed with the queen's trust and the resolve to protect her homeland, Alara took her leave. She stepped into the castle gardens a place where nature's beauty was cultivated with meticulous care, mirroring the controlled facade of the courtiers she was tasked to observe. There, beneath the boughs of an ancient oak, Alara transformed, her body reshaping until she was nothing more than a shadow against the sky. Her first flight of espionage carried her over the castle, her keen eyes observing the intricate ballet of court life. She watched as nobles whispered in secluded corners, as couriers hurried through the corridors with messages whose contents could alter fates, and as guards exchanged glances that spoke of uneasy alliances. Days turned into nights, and Alara flew under the cover of darkness, her presence unnoticed by those below. She gathered whispers like threads, weaving them into a tapestry of understanding. Among the innocent trifles and mundane affairs of the court, she began to discern patterns, a network of deceit that spread its roots deep into the foundation of the kingdom. Yet, for all her diligence, the heart of the conspiracy remained shrouded in mystery. Frustration gnawed at Alara as she returned night after night to the queen with reports that painted a picture of intrigue, but offered no clear path to the puppet masters orchestrating the descent. It is as if shadows themselves plot against us, Alara confessed to the queen after a particularly fruitless night. I hear their whispers, see their schemes, 
but the faces behind them elude me. Do not despair, Alara, the queen counseled, her voice a beacon in the uncertainty that clouded their efforts. You have given us more than you know. Patience is our ally, and time will reveal the traitors to us. Continue your watch and trust in the wisdom of the wind to guide you to the truth. Heartened by the queen's steadfast belief, Elara vowed to redouble her efforts. She understood now that her mission was not one of simple observation, but a battle of wits against foes who hid in plain sight. With renewed determination, she took to the skies. Her resolve as unyielding as the stone walls that protected the kingdom she loved, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the land. Alara flew once more, a silent guardian, whose wings carried the hope of Eldoria. The plot she sought to unravel was intricate and dangerous, but she was undeterred. For she was Alara, the winged whisperer, and she would not rest until the shadows were banished and the light of truth revealed the treachery hidden within the heart of the kingdom. As the cloak of night draped itself over the kingdom of Eldoria, Elara, now a silent shadow against the moonlit sky, embarked on her mission anew. The castle below, with its towers and turrets, whispered secrets of centuries, holding within its stone embrace the fate of the realm. Elara's heart, buoyed by the queen's faith and her own resolve, beat a rhythm of determination as she soared. Her first true flight of espionage had a purpose sharper than any that had come before. The queen's words, echoing the depth of concern for her people and the peril that lurked in the shadows, had kindled a fire within Alara. She knew that the whispers of treason, if left unchecked, could tear asunder the very fabric of Eldoria, a kingdom that had stood as a beacon of light in times both prosperous and dark. Silent as the night breeze, Elara glided over the castle grounds, her eyes piercing the darkness, searching for the elusive threads of treachery the queen had warned of. The court, by day, a stage for the elaborate dance of nobility, by night held a more sinister congregation. Figures cloaked in the anonymity of darkness met in secluded gardens and shadowed alcoves, their whispers carrying the chill of betrayal. Elara, with the patience of the eternal stars, watched and listened. Night after night, she gathered the fragments of conversations, the hurried exchanges of letters, and the secret meetings that unfolded beneath the cover of darkness. Among the many innocuous dealings of the court, she began to discern a pattern, a recurring circle of faces that met with furtive glances and guarded words. The conspiracy, like a dark web, was complex and well hidden strands woven into the very tapestry 
of the court. Elara realized that the treachery was not the work of a single malcontent, but a cabal, a group whose discontent and ambition had festered into a plot against the queen. Yet, despite her vigilance, the mastermind behind the conspiracy remained a shadow within shadows. Alara's frustration mounted as the pieces of the puzzle eluded her grasp, each clue leading only to more questions. The urgency of her mission pressed upon her with each passing night. A reminder that time was a luxury they could not afford. It was on a night shrouded in mist when even the moon seemed to hide from the deeds that unfolded below that Alara witnessed a meeting that would alter the course of her quest. In the heart of the castle's oldest garden, where statues of forgotten gods bore silent witness to the passage of time, she observed a gathering that brought a chill to her heart. There, illuminated by the flickering light of a single lantern, stood the figures she had come to know as the architects of descent. Their words, carried on the whispers of the wind, spoke of a plot so daring, so fraught with peril, that Alara felt a cold dread settle upon her. The time is nigh, one shadowed figure declared, his voice a serpent's hiss in the quiet of the night. The queen's vigilance wanes, and our moment approaches. Soon, the throne shall be ours, and Eldoria will bow to a new ruler. The others, their faces hidden beneath the cloak of night, murmured their assent. A chorus of treachery that echoed against the ancient stones. Elara, her heart pounding with the gravity of her discovery, knew that she could not delay. The conspiracy was no longer a shadowy threat, but a looming storm that threatened to engulf the kingdom in darkness. With the knowledge of the plot heavy upon her, she turned from the scene her flight swift as she raced against the dawn to bring word to the queen. The fate of Eldoria hung in the balance, and Alara, the winged whisperer, bore the weight of its future on her wings. The journey ahead was fraught with danger, but she was resolved to face it for the love of her queen and the kingdom that had become her home. As the first light of dawn painted the skies in hues of gold and pink, Elara, the winged whisperer, returned to her human form. Her heart was heavy with the secrets she had unearthed the weight of the coming storm pressing upon her. The shadows that lurked within the heart of Eldoria's court had taken form, revealing a plot that threatened to unravel the very fabric of the kingdom. With haste, she sought an audience with the queen, the urgency of her news allowing no delay. The queen, wise and regal, listened with a solemn grace as Alara recounted the whispers of treachery she had witnessed under the cloak of night. 
The shadows you have chased are now within our grasp, the queen said, her voice a calm amidst the brewing storm. Your courage has brought us to the cusp of unmasking those who would see Eldoria fall. We must act with care, for in their desperation, they may strike out like a wounded beast. Together, they devised a plan, a delicate dance of intrigue and deception designed to draw out the traitors from their veil of shadows. Elara would continue her surveillance, her eyes and ears among the clouds, while the queen would weave a tapestry of misinformation, leading the conspirators to believe their plot remained hidden. The court, once a place of grandeur and celebration, now held an air of tension, a silent battleground where the fate of Eldoria would be decided. Alara, moving among the nobles and courtiers, felt the weight of suspicion and paranoia that had descended upon the castle. Eyes darted in shadowed corners, and whispers were silenced as she approached, the atmosphere charged with an unspoken dread. As the days passed, the court became a chessboard, with each player guarding their moves, unaware that the queen and Alara were two steps ahead. The conspirators, emboldened by their ignorance, grew more careless, their whispers more frequent, their meetings less hidden. Each piece of information Alara gathered was a thread, pulling them closer to the inevitable confrontation. But the darkness that had taken root in the court was not easily banished. With each step they took towards the light, the shadows seemed to grow deeper, a reminder that evil was a cunning adversary. Elara felt the eyes of unseen watchers upon her, a chilling reminder that her role as the queen's spy had not gone unnoticed. It was during a moonless night when the darkness seemed to swallow the castle whole that Elara uncovered the final piece of the puzzle. A letter, its seal broken in haste, revealed the time and manner of the coup. A daring strike aimed at the heart of Eldoria during the upcoming royal celebration. With no time to spare, Elara delivered the letter to the queen, its contents a grim testament to the depth of the betrayal they faced. The queen, her resolve hardened by the threat to her people, called her most trusted advisors, a council of shadows, to counter the darkness with their own cunning. The hour of our trial is upon us, the queen declared, her eyes alight with the fire of her will. But we stand ready, armed with the truth and the courage of our convictions. Let the traitors come, thinking us unprepared. They will find not victims, but valiant hearts ready to defend Eldoria until the last breath. The castle, once a symbol of unity and strength, braced for the storm on the horizon. Elara, standing beside the queen, felt a kinship with the people of Eldoria, a resolve to protect the
the land that had become her home. The shadows that had once seemed invincible now appeared as but the last desperate grasp of those too blinded by ambition to see the light. The stage was set, the players in place, and as the day of the celebration dawned, Eldoria held its breath, waiting for the moment when the shadows would be forced into the light, their schemes undone by the courage of a young witch and the wisdom of a queen who refused to yield. On the eve of the royal celebration, the castle of Eldoria was a fortress of anticipation. Its halls, adorned with the splendor of a thousand candles, held the breath of a kingdom waiting for the shadow of conspiracy to emerge into the light. The queen, a beacon of strength amidst the storm, prepared to face the culmination of the plot with a calm resolve that inspired all who stood with her. Alara, the winged whisperer, felt the weight of the moment upon her shoulders. The knowledge she had gleaned from the night skies, the whispers of treason she had unveiled, had led them to this pivotal hour. The celebration was not just a display of the kingdom's glory, but a trap for those who sought to overthrow the throne. As the guests arrived, a cavalcade of nobility and distinction, the air was thick with the perfume of intrigue. Ilara moved among them, her senses attuned to the undercurrent of malice that ran beneath the veneer of festivity. Her eyes, sharp and knowing, searched the crowd for the faces of those she had seen in the shadowed gatherings. Their guises of loyalty now masks that barely concealed their treachery. The queen, regal and composed, greeted her guests with a grace that belied the danger that loomed. Her gaze, however, held a steeliness that spoke of her awareness and her readiness to confront the betrayal within her court. Beside her, Elara stood vigilant, a silent guardian whose loyalty was the fortress against which the waves of conspiracy would break. As the night deepened, the moment of revelation drew near. The conspirators, emboldened by the belief in their unseen hand, began to converge their movements a dance of doom that they believed only they heard the music to. But the Queen and Alara were also attuned to this macabre melody, ready to strike the final note that would end the dance. Then, at the appointed hour, as the clock struck a tone that resonated through the halls, like a herald of fate, the queen raised her glass in a toast. The words she spoke were a signal, a call to action that was both a declaration of victory and a challenge to those who would dare oppose her. To the future of Eldoria, may it be bright and free of the shadows that seek to envelop it, she proclaimed, her voice echoing with authority and defiance. At her signal, the doors of the great hall were sealed, 
and the Queen's guards, loyal and true, emerged from the shadows. The conspirators, caught in the act of their treachery, were surrounded, their plots laid bare before the court. The mastermind of the plot, a noble of high standing, whose ambition had blinded him to the value of loyalty and honor, stood exposed. His eyes, wide with the realization of his folly, met the queen's gaze, finding there not the mercy he hoped for, but the judgment he deserved. You sought to undermine the very foundations of Eldoria, the queen addressed him, her voice resonant in the silenced hall. But you underestimated the strength of its people, the loyalty of its servants, and the resolve of its ruler. Your treachery is your downfall, and justice shall be your legacy. The conspirators were led away, their schemes shattered by the courage of a young witch and the wisdom of a queen who stood as the unyielding protector of her realm. The celebration, now a testament to the triumph of truth over deceit, continued. Its joy a reflection of the unity and strength that had saved Eldoria. Ilara, watching the festivities resume, felt a peace settle over her heart. Her journey from the solitary paths of the forest to the intricate webs of the court had led her to a place of belonging. She had stood in the shadow of treachery and emerged a defender of the light, a guardian of Eldoria. The tale of the winged whisperer and her queen would be told for generations, a story of bravery, loyalty, and the unbreakable bond that held the kingdom together. For in the heart of Eldoria, where magic and might intertwined, the spirit of the people shone brightest, a beacon of hope in a world filled with shadows. Chapter 2 The Nest of Deceit After the echoes of the celebration had faded and the light of dawn cast a new day over Eldoria, Alara's journey into the heart of darkness took a deeper, more perilous turn. The conspiracy thwarted at the royal celebration was but the outer layer of a more intricate web of treachery that spread its tendrils throughout the kingdom. The mastermind behind the plot, though vanquished, had spoken of allies in shadows, of plans laid in wait, like dormant seeds ready to sprout at the first sign of weakness. The queen, ever vigilant, tasked Alara with unraveling this deeper conspiracy to fly once more into the maw of deceit and ferret out the truth hidden amongst the ravens. It was a mission that would take her to the darkest corners of Eldoria, where the light of loyalty dimmed and the air was thick with plots against the crown. Transforming into her avian form, 
Alara took to the skies as the new moon watched silently, a guardian of secrets in the starless night. Her destination was the ruins of Thornwood, an ancient keep lost to time and reclaimed by the forest that bore its name. It was here, the Queen's informants had whispered, that the remaining conspirators gathered, cloaked in darkness, to weave their plots against the throne. Ilara, her feathers as black as the night that enveloped her, moved unseen amongst the shadows. Her presence but a whisper on the wind. The ruins loomed before her, their broken battlements and crumbling towers, a testament to battles long forgotten. Within these stone skeletons, the conspirators convened, their voices carrying on the wind like the croaking of ravens in the dark. Perched high upon the ancient ruins, Alara listened as the conspirators spoke, their words a poison that sought to infect the very heart of Eldoria. They spoke of a new plot, more daring and deadly than the last, a coup that would not only seize the throne, but plunge the kingdom into chaos from which it would never recover. The names of nobles, once loyal subjects of the crown, were now uttered with treachery. Their allegiances bought with promises of power and riches. The extent of their betrayal stretched far and wide, a network that ensnared soldiers, merchants, and even members of the queen's own court. Ilara's heart grew heavy with the knowledge she acquired, the depth of the deceit cutting deeper than the chill of the night air. The conspiracy was like a nest of ravens, each member connected by a web of shadows, their plans a cacophony of darkness that threatened to overshadow the kingdom. But amongst the malice and betrayal, a single thread of hope glimmered in the darkness. The conspirators spoke of a hidden message, a key that would unlock the final phase of their plot. Its location guarded and secret, was known only to a select few. A puzzle that Elara knew she must solve if she was to thwart their plans. As the meeting disbanded, the conspirators melting back into the shadows from which they had come, Elara took flight. Her mind, a whirlwind of thoughts, and strategies. The information she had gathered was vital. A map to the heart of the conspiracy that she must now navigate with caution and cunning. Returning to the queen, Alara relayed all that she had heard amongst the ruins of Thornwood. The names of the traitors and the outline of their plot laid bare. Together, they plotted their next move, a counter-strategy that would require all the guile and bravery they possessed. The nest of deceit had been revealed, but the journey to dismantle it had only just begun. Elara the winged whisperer stood ready, her resolve as steadfast as the stars that guided her path. 
for the sake of Eldoria, she would dive once more into the shadows, her wings carrying her towards the light of truth that would dispel the darkness of treachery. In the days that followed, her shadowed flight among the ruins of Thornwood, Ilara, the winged whisperer, found herself ensnared in a web of silent contemplation and urgency. The plot she had uncovered, like a dark tapestry, was woven with threads of betrayal and ambition that threatened the very heart of Eldoria. Yet, within this tangled skein of deceit, a single strand gleamed with the promise of unraveling the entire design, the hidden message that held the key to the conspirator's final act. With the queen's wisdom guiding her, Ilara knew that to intercept this message was to hold the fate of the kingdom in her hands. Her mission was clear, yet fraught with peril, for the message was cloaked in secrecy, passed between shadows that flitted on the edges of loyalty and treason. The whisper of wings became her cloak, her guise as she took to the skies, her senses attuned to the murmurs of the wind and the secrets it carried. Her journey led her beyond the confines of the castle, over the rolling hills, and through the whispering forests that bordered Eldoria, to the bustling streets of the capital, where the pulse of the kingdom beat strongest. It was here, amidst the throng of merchants and townsfolk, that Alara's vigilance was rewarded. A figure, cloaked and hurried, passed a sealed scroll to a merchant known for his allegiance to the darker corners of power. Alara, swift and unseen, followed the merchant to his shop, a place where whispers were traded like goods and secrets held the value of gold, waiting for the cover of night when the streets emptied and a hush fell over the city. Elara reclaimed her human form and, with a blend of magic and stealth, retrieved the scroll from its hiding place. Her heart pounded with the gravity of her actions, the weight of the kingdom's fate pressing upon her as she broke the seal and unfurled the parchment. The message, written in a cipher known only to the highest echelons of the court, revealed the date and manner of the coup, a strike at the heart of the kingdom during the grand festival of the harvest moon, when the castle would be most vulnerable, teeming with guests and mired in celebration. Ilara's mind raced as she pondered the implications of her discovery. Time was a river rushing towards a waterfall, and she stood at the precipice, holding the key to divert its course. Yet, within the walls of the castle and the streets of the city, trust was a rare commodity. The conspiracy had spread its roots deep, entangling friend and foe alike in its dark embrace. Whom could she trust? The question echoed in her mind as she made her way back to the castle, the 
hidden message, her silent burden. The Queen's council was loyal, yet within it, the seeds of treachery might have been sown. The court was a mask of smiles and nods, beneath which lurked the faces of those who would see the kingdom fall. In the heart of the night, under the watchful gaze of the stars, Elara presented the message to the queen. Together, in the silence of the council chamber, they deciphered the words that spelled doom for Eldoria, their resolve hardening with each line. We stand on the edge of darkness, the queen said, her voice a beacon in the night. But with this knowledge, we forge our light. We shall prepare, not as victims awaiting the stroke, but as warriors ready to defend our kingdom. The plan was set in motion, a countermeasure to the impending coup, crafted in secrecy and executed with precision. Elara, her role more critical than ever, became the queen's shadow her eyes and ears within and beyond the castle walls. The hidden message had revealed the path to salvation, but the journey was fraught with danger. Elara, with the courage of a lion and the cunning of a fox, stepped forth into the maw of deceit, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead. For in her heart burned the flame of loyalty to Eldoria, a light that no shadow could extinguish. The revelation of the hidden message had cast a pall over the castle, its shadows stretching longer and deeper as the festival of the harvest moon approached. With the conspiracy laid bare, the Queen and Alara worked tirelessly to fortify the kingdom against the impending storm. Yet, in the heart of Eldoria, where trust was the foundation upon which the kingdom stood, a new betrayal was about to unfold. Alara, with the Queen's mandate, continued her silent vigil her wings carrying her on a gust of determination. The knowledge of the coup's details sharpened her focus, yet it was the uncertainty of the traitor's identities that gnawed at her resolve. The queen had advised caution, for the roots of treachery ran deep, entangled within the very lifeblood of the court. It was during a clandestine meeting, hidden away in the labyrinthine underbelly of the castle, that Alara's fears were realized. Amongst the conspirators, cloaked in the guise of loyalty, was a face she recognized, one that had stood by the queen's side a guardian of the realm. The realization struck Alara like a cold wind, chilling her to the bone. A traitor in disguise, an advisor whose counsel had been trusted, whose allegiance had been beyond reproach. The discovery was a venomous thorn in the heart of their plans. Alara, her mind a whirlwind of disbelief and betrayal, knew the gravity of her discovery. The traitor's proximity to the queen, his access to the inner workings of the castle, 
posed a threat more perilous than any outsider. The conspirators, emboldened by this infiltration, had planted their seeds of destruction within the very walls meant to protect Eldoria. With a heavy heart, Elara returned to the queen. The shadows of the evening cloaking her approach. The council chamber, once a haven of wisdom and strategy, now felt like a chamber of secrets. Each shadow a potential cloak for betrayal. The queen, sensing the urgency in Alara's demeanor, dismissed her advisors, leaving them alone with the weight of the kingdom's fate. Alara recounted her discovery, the words tasting of ash and betrayal. The queen listened, her expression a mask of regal calm that belied the storm raging within. The news of the traitor in their midst was a blow that cut deeper than any blade, a betrayal that threatened to undo all they had worked to build. We stand at the precipice of darkness, the queen said, her voice steady. Faced with a betrayal that seeks to erode the very trust upon which our kingdom is built. Yet, we shall not falter. We shall rise stronger and more united than ever. For the heart of Eldoria beats with the courage of its people. The decision was made with the solemnity of a vow. The traitor would be watched, his actions documented, his network unraveled. Yet, they would act with caution, for to reveal their knowledge prematurely was to play into the hands of their enemies. Elara, her resolve hardened by the queen's words, took to the skies once more her mission clear. The festival of the harvest moon loomed on the horizon, a beacon of hope in the darkness. Yet, beneath the promise of celebration lay the shadow of the coup, a specter that threatened to extinguish the light of Eldoria. The days that followed were a dance of shadows and light, of watching and waiting. Elara, with the grace of a hawk and the stealth of a shadow, moved unseen, her eyes ever vigilant for the signs of the impending storm. The traitor, unaware of the watchful gaze that followed him, continued his deceitful dance his actions weaving the final strands of the conspirators' plot. As the festival drew near, the castle buzzed with preparations, a facade of joy that masked the undercurrent of tension. Ilara, her heart heavy with the burden of her knowledge, stood ready. The fate of Aldoria hung in the balance, and she, the winged whisperer, would be its guardian, its shield against the darkness that sought to engulf it. In the deepening twilight of a world cloaked in secrecy and betrayal, Alara found herself at the heart of a storm that threatened to tear her very soul apart. Her discovery of the traitor in disguise, a figure she had once regarded with trust and respect, cast a long shadow over her duties. Torn between her unwavering loyalty to the queen 
and the implications of her findings, Alara faced a dilemma that weighed heavily upon her. The knowledge she possessed was a double-edged sword, one that could safeguard the kingdom, or, if wielded without caution, could precipitate its downfall. The traitor, cunning and deeply embedded within the Queen's Council, was but a piece of a larger puzzle, a node in a network of deceit that spread its roots deep into the heart of Eldoria. Alara's nights were restless, haunted by the faces of those she served, each one a question mark in the grand scheme of loyalty and treachery. Her days were spent in shadow, watching the movements of the traitor, tracing the invisible threads that connected him to the wider conspiracy. Yet, with each secret unveiled, the burden of her silence grew heavier, a silent scream in a world of whispers. The queen, wise ruler that she was, noticed the change in Alara. The once vibrant winged whisperer now bore the weight of the world on her shoulders. Her eyes clouded with uncertainty and turmoil. In a moment of quiet, away from the prying eyes of the court, the queen sought to pierce the veil of Alara's distress. You carry a heavy burden, Ilara, the queen spoke, her voice a gentle caress in the tumult of Ilara's thoughts. The path of loyalty is often fraught with thorns, and the weight of truth can be a lonely mantle to bear. Speak, my brave whisperer. Let not your heart be clouded with doubts. Alara's resolve crumbled under the warmth of the queen's concern. Her fears laid bare before the one person she had vowed to protect above all else. She spoke of the traitor, of the tangled web of deceit that threatened to ensnare them all, and of her fear that revealing the full extent of her discoveries might inadvertently harm the very kingdom she sought to defend. The queen listened, her expression one of stoic calm that belied the storm raging within. When Alara had finished, a silence hung between them, heavy with the weight of decisions yet to be made. The truth however bitter, is the sword we must wield in defense of our kingdom, the queen finally said, her resolve as unbreakable as the dawn. We cannot falter in the face of treachery, nor can we allow fear to dictate our actions. Your loyalty, Elara, is the beacon that will guide us through this darkness. With the queen's words as her anchor, Alara understood what she must do. The dilemma that had tormented her was but a test of her resolve, a crucible in which her loyalty was refined into unwavering strength. The truth, in all its darkness, must be revealed, for only in the light of truth could the shadows of betrayal be dispelled. With a renewed sense of purpose, Alara prepared to face the days ahead. The festival of the harvest moon loomed ever closer, a deadline that marked 
either the salvation or the downfall of Hildoria. Armed with the truth and the trust of her queen, Alara stepped forth from the chamber, her heart lighter, her resolve steeled against the trials to come. The witch's dilemma had been resolved, not with silence, but with the courage to speak the truth. Alara, the winged whisperer, would soar once more, her path illuminated by the clarity of her duty and the strength of her loyalty. The nest of deceit would be unraveled, thread by thread, until the kingdom of Eldoria emerged, stronger and more united in the face of adversity. The dawn of revelation approached, as silent and potent as the shift of seasons that whispered through the kingdom of Eldoria. Alara, once a shadow among shadows, emerged into the light of truth. Her decision to unveil the conspiracy a testament to her unwavering allegiance to the realm. The plot, woven with the threads of betrayal and malice, was about to be laid bare, but not without a price that would mark a turning point in her journey. Under the cloak of night, just before the festival of the harvest moon reached its zenith, Alara sought out the queen, the weight of her duty heavy upon her shoulders. The castle, alive with the buzz of preparation and festivity, remained oblivious to the storm that was about to break. In the privacy of the queen's chamber, a sanctum of trust and power, Alara revealed the full extent of the conspiracy. The names of those who had pledged their souls to treachery, and the imminent danger that loomed over the kingdom. The queen, her resolve as formidable as the ancient stones that formed the foundation of her castle, listened with a heart both heavy and fierce. The moment of truth had arrived, a crucible in which the fate of Eldoria would be forged. With the first light of dawn casting a golden glow over the kingdom, the queen and Alara stood before the gathered court and the people of Eldoria. The air was charged with anticipation, the murmurs of the crowd a rising tide that awaited the breaking of a dam. Elara, stepping forward, her figure a silhouette against the rising sun, revealed the conspiracy in a voice that, though soft, carried the strength of thunder. She spoke of the treachery that had sought to undermine the kingdom, of the traitor in their midst, and of the plot to seize the throne. Her words, each one a drop of light in the darkness, unraveled the web of deceit that had ensnared the heart of Eldoria. The revelation shook the court to its core. A wave of shock and disbelief rippling through the ranks of nobles and commoners alike. But it was Alara's next confession that would change the course of her destiny forever. With a courage born of necessity, she revealed her identity as the bird witch, the winged whisperer, whose abilities had unveiled the shadow that had loomed over the kingdom. The crowd gasped, a collective breath 
drawn in astonishment and awe. Ilara's secret, once her shield, was now laid bare, exposing her to the eyes of those who would see her as a threat. The traitor, unveiled by her words, was seized, his schemes laid to ruin by the truth that had been hidden in plain sight. Yet, in the moment of triumph, the cost of her revelation became apparent. Elara, once the silent guardian of Eldoria, was now a target, her unique abilities marking her as a beacon in the darkness that sought to engulf the kingdom. The shadows, though dispelled, were not vanquished, and in their retreat, they marked her as their nemesis, a threat to the chaos they sought to sow. As the sun climbed higher, casting its light over a kingdom shaken but unbroken, Elara stood beside the queen, a bond of trust and loyalty between them that no shadow could diminish. The secrets had been unveiled, the plot thwarted, but the path ahead was fraught with danger. Elara, her identity revealed, faced a world that would never again be the same. Her wings, once the instruments of silent vigilance, were now the ensigns of her courage and her burden. In the aftermath of Revelation, as the kingdom of Eldoria reeled from the truths laid bare, the conspirators their shadows scattered by the light of Alara's bravery, hastened the weaving of their dark designs. With their plot unveiled and their ranks broken, they turned to desperation, a dangerous edge that sharpened their resolve to seize the throne by any means necessary. Alara, her identity as the winged whisperer now known to all, found herself at the heart of a maelstrom. The skies, once her realm of freedom and solitude, became a battlefield where each beat of her wings carried her closer to peril. The ground below, a maze of danger and deceit, where every shadow could conceal an enemy, every ally's gaze might mask a traitor's intent. The queen, steadfast in her resolve, fortified the castle's defenses, her trust in Alara unwavering. Together, they faced the tempest, a beacon of light amidst the gathering clouds of war. But the conspirators were cunning, their desperation lending them a reckless courage. They sought to outmaneuver Alara, to trap her between the earth and the sky, where her magic might falter and her wings be clipped. Alara, aware of the tightening noose, devised a strategy that played to her strengths. She took to the skies, her form blurring into the winds, a specter unseen but ever-present. She watched from above, her eyes sharp, tracing the movements of the conspirators as they slithered through the kingdom, seeking allies in the shadows, weapons in the whispers of discontent. Her flights were not without danger. Arrows sought her shadow amongst the clouds. And more than once, she felt the kiss of steel as she dodged death 
by a hair's breadth. Yet, with each evasion, with every successful reconnaissance, she gathered the threads of their plans, unraveling their intentions bit by bit. On the ground, the game of cat and mouse grew ever more perilous. Ilara, cloaked in the guise of a commoner, moved through the streets of Eldoria, her ears tuned to the undercurrents of conspiracy that flowed through the alleys and taverns. In the bustling squares and quiet corners, she found fragments of their schemes, puzzle pieces that, when assembled, revealed the full extent of their desperation. The conspirators, realizing that their quarry eluded them at every turn, grew reckless. Their movements became erratic, their plans fragmented by paranoia and fear. They knew that the winged whisperer watched, waited, and that their time was running out. In a daring move, Elara lured them into the open, using herself as bait in a gambit that risked everything. Beneath the light of the full moon, on the eve of the storm they sought to unleash, she faced them, not as the bird that soared above, but as the witch who walked amongst them, her power a tempest that matched their own. The confrontation was inevitable, a clash of wills and magic under the storm-racked skies. The conspirators, emboldened by desperation, launched their assault, a final bid to capture the winged whisperer and break the spirit of Eldoria. But they underestimated the strength of her resolve, the depth of her loyalty to the kingdom and her queen. With the wind at her back and the storm as her ally, Alara turned their desperation against them, her magic a guiding light that pierced the darkness, her wings the blades that cut the ties of their treachery. The battle raged, a tempest of power and will, until the dawn broke, golden and clear, over a kingdom still standing, its enemies vanquished, its resolve unbroken. Elara, her wings bathed in the first light of dawn, stood victorious, a sentinel whose courage had turned the tide of the storm. Chapter 3 The Dawn of Truth in the aftermath of the tempest that had sought to engulf Eldoria in darkness, a brief respite fell upon the kingdom, a momentary breath drawn in the shadow of impending doom. The winged whisperer, Alara, her name now whispered in reverence and fear, stood at the heart of the maelstrom, yet to come. The conspiracy, though battered, was not broken, its roots still entwined within the bedrock of the realm. The festival of the harvest moon loomed large, a beacon of hope and celebration for the people of Eldoria. Yet beneath its promise of joy, a shadow grew, a gathering storm that threatened to tear apart the very fabric of the kingdom. Elara, 
her resolve tempered in the fires of battle, knew that the final confrontation was upon them. Failure was not a specter she dared entertain, for it would spell the fall of all she held dear. In the quiet that preceded the storm, Ilara convened with a trusted few, a circle of loyalty and courage that stood as the kingdom's final bastion. The queen, her spirit unbroken by the trials they had faced, was the anchor that held them steadfast. Together, they pored over maps and missives, their minds a hive of strategy and resolve. The conspirators, driven to desperation, had one last card to play, a coup that would strike at the heart of Eldoria during the festival, when the castle's gates would open to friend and foe alike. The plot was a serpent coiled beneath the guise of festivity, ready to strike when the kingdom least expected. Alara's plan was a tapestry of daring and subtlety, woven with threads of magic and strategy. She would take to the skies, her eyes and ears extended beyond the castle walls, while her allies a blend of royal guards and mages prepared the ground for the coming siege. Together, they would turn the castle into a fortress impenetrable, a challenge to the darkness that dared encroach. The days passed, each one a step closer to the precipice. Ilara in her guise as the winged whisperer, scouted the forests and valleys that bordered Eldoria, her presence a shadow that traced the movements of the conspirators. Each flight brought new intelligence, pieces of a puzzle that, when assembled, revealed the full scope of the threat they faced. The conspirators had gathered a force, mercenaries and traitors, bound by gold and the promise of power. They moved in silence, a shadow army that sought to converge upon Eldoria under the cover of the festival's revelry. Their plan was one of chaos and fire, to strike swiftly and without mercy, to seize the throne amidst the tumult. Back within the castle, Elara and her allies fortified their defenses, magic woven into the very stones of the fortress. Spells of protection and detection that would alert them to the presence of their foes. The royal guards, loyal and true, stood ready, their resolve a mirror of the queen's own courage. As the day of the festival dawned, a tension hung in the air, a breath held before the plunge. The people of Eldoria unaware of the shadow that loomed, gathered to celebrate, their laughter and joy a stark contrast to the storm that gathered on the horizon. Elara, her heart heavy with the weight of what was to come, stood beside the queen. Her gaze turned towards the skies that promised both freedom and peril. The gathering storm was upon them, a test of their will and their courage, a battle for the soul of Eldoria. And 
as the first rays of the sun kissed the kingdom, casting a golden light upon the castle. Alara knew that the dawn of truth was at hand. With the kingdom on the brink, she and her trusted few stood ready to face the darkness, their spirits unyielding, their resolve forged in the heart of the storm. As the festival of the harvest moon ascended to its zenith, bathing the kingdom of Eldoria in a glow of anticipation and revelry, the undercurrents of a darker design swirled beneath the surface. Elara, the winged whisperer, found herself ensnared in a race against time, the sands of which slipped relentlessly through the narrow waste of destiny's hourglass. Armed with the knowledge of the impending coup, she embarked on a desperate bid to thwart the conspirators' final gambit. Her days were a blur of motion, a symphony of actions, both magical and mundane. Each step a note in the melody of salvation she sought to compose for her beloved kingdom. Utilizing her magical prowess, Alara summoned the winds to carry her whispers to the corners of Eldoria, messages that sought the ears of loyalists hidden among the populace. Her spells, woven with the subtlety of a master craftswoman, served as both shield and spear, guarding the innocent and seeking out the malice that lurked in shadow. But magic alone would not suffice in the intricate dance of intrigue and deception. Elara, ever resourceful, delved into the mundane arsenal of her skills. Disguised in the garb of commoners and nobles alike, she moved through the throngs of festival goers, her eyes and ears attuned to the slightest hint of treachery, her mind piecing together the fragments of overheard conversations and clandestine meetings. The plot, as she uncovered, was a masterstroke of villainy, a multifaceted attack designed to strike at the heart of Eldoria during the festival's grand climax. The conspirators had laid their plans with meticulous care, their agents embedded within the crowds, their weapons hidden beneath the trappings of celebration. Time, the relentless adversary, ticked away with maddening indifference. Ilara, her resolve a beacon in the gathering gloom, pushed herself to the limits of her endurance. Each discovery, each thwarted scheme, was a step towards victory. Yet the shadow of failure loomed ever larger, a specter that whispered of the kingdom's fall. In the waning hours of the festival, with the moon a silent witness overhead, Elara's efforts bore fruit. A cache of hidden weapons meant for the hands of traitors was uncovered and destroyed. A missive detailing the final orders of the conspiracy fell into her possession its secrets laid bare under the scrutiny of her magic. Yet, with every success, 
the danger grew. The conspirators, sensing the unraveling of their plot, became more brazen, their actions more desperate. Ilara found herself not just the hunter, but also the hunted, her every move shadowed by the threat of capture or death. The race against time reached its climax as the festival's grand finale drew near, a spectacle of fire and light that promised to be the backdrop for Eldoria's darkest hour. Alara, her energies waning, but her spirit undiminished, prepared for the final confrontation. With the queen and her allies at her side, she faced the looming threat, not as a lone whisperer in the wind, but as the herald of dawn, the bringer of light to dispel the darkness. Together, they stood ready, a united front against the storm that threatened to sweep Eldoria into the abyss. The clock struck the appointed hour, the air charged with the tension of destiny's fulcrum. Ilara, her heart a drumbeat of courage and fear, knew that the moment of truth had arrived. The race against time, fraught with peril and sacrifice, would end under the harvest moon's glow, either in triumph for Eldoria or in the shadow of its ruin. As the festival of the harvest moon reached its crescendo, with the kingdom of Eldoria swathed in the light of joy and celebration, the undercurrents of a darker force surged towards a fateful climax. The air, charged with anticipation and the magic of the night, served as the stage for a confrontation that would decide the fate of the realm. Ilara, the winged whisperer, her resolve steeled by the trials she had endured, prepared to face the architect of the treachery that threatened to tear her world asunder. The mastermind, a figure who had moved in shadows, weaving the threads of betrayal with a deft hand, emerged from the darkness. His identity, a shock to the court, was a noble whose ambition had curdled into malice, a betrayal that ran deep in the heart of Eldoria. His power, drawn from dark magics and alliances with forces beyond the realm, was a maelstrom that sought to engulf the kingdom in chaos. Elara, standing in the heart of the festival, her allies at her side, faced the traitor with a calm that belied the storm raging within her. The moon, a silent sentinel, cast its silver gaze upon the battlefield. The ancient stones of the castle courtyard bearing witness to the battle of wills that would unfold under its light. The mastermind, confident in his power and the chaos he had sown, unleashed the full might of his magic against Ilara. Dark tendrils of energy, sharp as knives and black as the void, sought to ensnare her to extinguish the light she represented. But Alara, her powers honed through the trials she had faced, danced through the shadows. Her movements, a blur of light and grace. With every spell cast, 
every deft maneuver. Alara countered the traitor's assault. Her magic, a tapestry of wind and light that pushed back against the darkness. The air crackled with power. The stones trembled under the force of their duel, a testament to the clash of destinies that unfolded. The confrontation was not merely a battle of magic, but a contest of wits and resolve. Ilara, drawing upon the depths of her courage and the wisdom she had garnered, sought to outmaneuver the mastermind, to use his overconfidence as the weapon that would lead to his undoing. She wove her spells with precision, targeting the vulnerabilities in his defenses, each strike a message that proclaimed her unwavering defiance. As the battle reached its zenith, with the festival's revelry a distant echo beneath the thunder of their conflict, Alara summoned the full extent of her power. With a voice that rose above the din of battle, she called upon the essence of the wind, the strength of the earth, and the light of the moon, channeling their energies into a single, defining strike. The mastermind, realizing too late the depth of Alara's power, sought to counter, but his spells unraveled under the onslaught, his dark magics dissipating like smoke in the wind. With a final, resolute thrust of her will, Alara broke through his defenses, the light of her magic piercing the heart of the darkness he had conjured. The traitor, defeated, fell to his knees, the shadows that had cloaked him receding into the night from whence they came. Around them, the kingdom of Eldoria watched, a collective breath held and then released as the tide of treachery was turned back by the courage of one who had dared to stand in the light. The battle of wills, a confrontation that had teetered on the edge of oblivion, was decided. Alara, her powers tested and her resolve affirmed, stood victorious, not just as the winged whisperer, but as the defender of Eldoria, a beacon of hope that had led her people through the darkness and into the dawn of truth. In the aftermath of Alara's victory over the mastermind of treachery, a brief respite settled over the kingdom of Eldoria. However, the battle had revealed that the conspiracy ran deeper than a single foe, its roots entangled within the very fabric of the court. The queen, her wisdom shining like a beacon in the tempest, devised a plan to cleanse the kingdom of the remaining shadows. This plan, born from the union of necessity and cunning, became known as the Queen's Gambit. Under the veil of night, within the hallowed chambers of the castle, the Queen convened with Elara and her most loyal allies. There, she unfolded her strategy, a trap designed to draw the remaining traitors into the light, using the very castle that had stood as a symbol of their power and unity 
as the stage for their downfall. The hour has come to end this dance of shadows, the queen declared, her voice a firm resolve that cut through the uncertainty. With the Lara's valor as our guiding light, we shall turn the tables on those who seek to undermine us. We shall use their greed and ambition as the lure, promising them a share of power in the new order they so desperately crave. The plan was intricate, a delicate weaving of truth and deception. A false counsel was to be convened. Under the guise of surrendering to the conspirators' demands, a meeting where the queen would allegedly offer them positions of power in exchange for their fealty. This ruse, crafted with the utmost care, would be the bait to draw the traitors from their hiding, convinced of their imminent victory. Ilara, her role pivotal to the Gambit's success, was to be the unseen sentinel. Her powers of observation and her mastery of the winds, ensuring that no detail was missed, no treachery left uncovered. The castle, a labyrinth of stone and secrets, was prepared for the encounter its halls and shadows woven with spells of protection and detection, a net cast wide to ensnare the unwary. As dawn broke on the day of the meeting, the castle awoke to a tension that hummed like a drawn bowstring. The conspirators, blinded by their ambition, stepped into the heart of the fortress. Unaware of the eyes that watched their every move, of the trap that awaited them, the queen, regal and composed, greeted her guests with a grace that belied the storm that raged beneath the surface. The council chamber, a room that had borne witness to the highest decisions of the realm was now the stage for the Queen's Gambit, the final act in the play of power that had enveloped Eldoria. As the meeting commenced, with the traitors confident in their impending triumph, Alara moved through the shadows her presence, a whisper that stirred the air. With every word spoken, every pledge made, the net drew tighter. The spells woven into the fabric of the castle, alerting the loyalists to the presence of deceit. And then, at the queen's signal, the trap was sprung. The doors of the chamber sealed with a magic that brooked no dissent. The traitors caught within a cage of their own making. The queen, her stature growing as she stood before them, revealed the true nature of the council. This meeting, she proclaimed, was not to reward treachery, but to end it. Eldoria shall not be ruled by those who seek power through deceit and darkness. Your fate is now sealed by the very ambition that led you astray. The conspirators, realizing too late the folly of their actions, were met with justice. Their plots undone by the unity and cunning of those they had sought to overthrow. The Queen's Gambit, a masterstroke of strategy and loyalty, 
cleansed the kingdom of the shadows that had sought to engulf it. As peace settled over Eldoria, the queen and Alara stood together, a testament to the strength that lies in unity and the power of truth to overcome the darkness. The dawn of truth had broken, heralding a new era for the kingdom, one built on the foundations of trust, courage, and the unbreakable will of those who stand in defense of their realm. In the wake of the queen's gambit, as the last vestiges of treachery were purged from the heart of Eldoria, a profound peace seemed to settle over the kingdom. Yet, within this calm, a storm brewed, a final test of will and magic that would demand more from Alara than ever before. It was a challenge that would see her embrace the full extent of her powers. A sacrifice born from the deepest wells of courage and love for her realm. The remnants of darkness, though scattered, coalesced into a singular threat, a shadow that sought to strike at Eldoria in its moment of vulnerability. This shadow, a malevolence that defied the bonds of the physical realm, threatened to unravel the very fabric of magic that wove through the land to extinguish the light that Alara and the Queen had fought so fiercely to protect. Alara, sensing the depth of the danger, understood what was required of her. The climax of her journey, a convergence of fate and choice, loomed before her, a path that led to the unknown. In the stillness of the night, under the watchful gaze of the moon that had witnessed her transformation from a solitary witch to the guardian of Eldoria, Elara prepared to make her stand. The confrontation took place in the ruins of an ancient grove, a place where the veil between worlds was thin, and the magic of Eldoria pulsed with a life of its own. There, the shadow emerged, a miasma of darkness that sought to suffocate the light. Its formless mass, a challenge to the very essence of existence. Elara, standing alone amidst the ruins, reached deep within herself, calling upon the sum of her experiences, her triumphs, and her trials. The magic that she had wielded, a gift born from her connection to the natural world, flared to life. A brilliant aurora that challenged the encroaching darkness. With a voice that carried the melody of the wind and the strength of the earth, Alara spoke the words of an ancient spell, a rite that demanded the utmost sacrifice. The air around her shimmered with power, the fabric of reality bending to her will as she offered herself as the conduit to bind the shadow, to seal it away from the realm she loved. The magic that enveloped her was a spectacle of light and color, a testament to the purity of her spirit. As the spell reached its zenith, Alara's form transformed, her essence merging with the very magic she sought to command. The 
transformation was a sight of awe and sorrow, a moment of beauty that belied the cost. With a final surge of power, the shadow was ensnared, bound by Alara's sacrifice, and sealed within the grove, its threat neutralized by the strength of her will. Yet, as the light of the spell faded, Alara was no more. Her physical form dissipated, her spirit woven into the fabric of Eldoria itself. The sacrifice was complete. The safety of the realm ensured by her final transformation. Elara, the winged whisperer, had become one with the land she protected, a guardian whose presence would be felt in the rustling of the leaves, the whisper of the winds, and the warmth of the sunlight. Her legacy, a testament to the power of love and sacrifice, would live on in the heart of Eldoria, a beacon for all who would come after. In the aftermath of Alara's ultimate sacrifice, the kingdom of Eldoria found itself standing on the threshold of a new era. The darkness that had sought to claim the land was dispelled, its architects of treachery vanquished by the unity and resilience of the realm's defenders. Peace, a delicate bloom nurtured in the soil of courage and sacrifice began to flourish once more across the valleys and hills of the kingdom. The queen, her heart heavy with the loss of Alara, yet buoyant with the triumph of their victory, decreed a day of remembrance and celebration in honor of the winged whisperer. The kingdom gathered a sea of faces turned towards the dais where the queen stood, her presence a beacon of steadfastness and grace. Today, we stand as a kingdom united, not by the trials we have faced, but by the strength we have found within ourselves and in each other, the queen began. Her voice carrying across the silent crowd. Among us walked a hero, Alara, the winged whisperer, whose bravery and loyalty have safeguarded the future of Eldoria. It is in her honor that we gather to celebrate the peace she has bestowed upon us, a peace she nurtured with the sacrifice of her own spirit. A statue, a likeness of Alara with wings outstretched, was unveiled in the heart of the castle gardens, a place where the sun kissed the earth and the winds sang through the trees. The sculpture, crafted with exquisite detail, captured the essence of Alara's spirit a testament to her journey and her final transformation. It stood as a sentinel, watching over the kingdom she had protected, a reminder of the price of peace and the valor required to sustain it. Let this monument stand as a beacon to all who seek the light in times of darkness the queen declared, her gaze sweeping over the crowd, meeting the eyes of those who had known Alara, who had fought beside her and had been inspired by her unwavering resolve. Let it remind us that within each of us lies the power to confront the shadows 
to forge our destiny with the strength of our will. The festival of the harvest moon henceforth was marked not just as a celebration of bounty and community, but as a day of remembrance for the winged whisperer. Songs were sung and stories were told, tales of Alara's bravery, of her battles fought in the skies and on the ground, of her sacrifice that had ensured the dawn of truth for Eldoria. In the years that followed, peace flourished within the kingdom's borders. The memory of the darkness that had once threatened to engulf them faded, but the legacy of the winged whisperer endured. Ilara's spirit, interwoven with the land, was felt in the whisper of the winds, in the gentle caress of the sun, and in the rustle of the leaves. A constant guardian watching over the realm she loved, the queen, her reign marked by the trials they had overcome, led Eldoria into a future bright with promise. Under her guidance, the kingdom prospered, a testament to the resilience of its people and the enduring bond of loyalty and courage that bound them. As the story of the winged whisperer was passed down through generations, it became a legend, a beacon of hope, and a reminder of the power of sacrifice for the greater good. Eldoria, its peace restored, stood as a monument to the spirit of one who had given everything to protect it kingdom forever touched by the magic and valor of Alara, the winged whisperer. <laughs> <laughs>